Ignition sequence start. Six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. Liftoff. We have a liftoff. Hey everybody, this is the Digital Asset Investor. I just had a margarita. I went to Mexico this evening with my family and some friends. And I got back and I had this video put together and I just had not gotten it out to you yet. So I wanted to go ahead and uh, send it out. This is from Crypto Overlord. BitTorrent has over 1 billion device installs globally across 138 countries with an average user base of over a hundred million a month. Most projects will work years to achieve figures close to this. Current price $0.000823. To be bearish on this coin should be illegal. Now this is the BTT token, BitTorrent token that they're talking about, which is a branch of Tron. And so I would say to you, um, I personally own Tron and that is what this, that's where all this comes from. And so I thought that this tweet really made a good point. You, it's, Brad Garlinghouse has said it over and over and over. If a coin is not going to have a use case, then throw it in the garbage and it'll eventually go to zero. And that's just the way it is. Well, I think that, you know, a lot of people try to accuse Justin Sun of being a scam artist and this and that. But the fact is he started Tron and then he bought BitTorrent, and now BitTorrent is going to employ BTT token. That speaks for itself, folks. Moving along, got this from Michael um, at uh, VAL Five Links, and Michael sent me this. Now, I cover Tim Draper a lot because Tim Draper is a really smart guy. Now, he is 100% in on Bitcoin, but the guy is smart. And I, I, my hunch has always been that he's pretty invested in XRP, and I think he is. But um, for whatever reason, he carries the Bitcoin torch in public. He said some very smart things uh, here, and I wanted to, uh, it was in an interview with the Bitcoin of Crypto Street. Um, he, he spoke to them, and I just want you to hear this. The great thing about cryptocurrency is that it is not tied to a government. Governments control you by controlling your currency Governments have to switch from control to service. Governments have to start thinking in terms of how do I attract citizens to my government as opposed to you live here, you work for me. And I think that that is going to be a change that is slowly starting to happen around the world. I think the Japanese government has recognized this. Now, I just want you to think about this, folks, those of you listening to me. And this, this part right here really rings true with me, and it probably rings true with you. Um, for a long time, a lot of government services, when you go, like when you go in the United States, when you go to get a driver's license or you go to the post office, there's always been an attitude of, yeah, you stand in that line because um, we're the government and we said so and you don't really have an option in this. Well, that's the way that you've been made to feel. And the only reason you've been made to feel that is because the government has had a monopoly on those services. You have to go to the government for your driver's license. You have to go to the post office to get your mail. That's just the way it's been. Well, what's happening right before your eyes is the, the control of money, which is the most important item in the world, is the control of the money. Digital assets are taking that control away from the banks and the government and the central banks, and they're going to put it in your hands. And that's why this paragraph rings so true. Governments have, 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 have to start thinking in terms of how do I attract citizens to my government as opposed to you live here, you work for me. And folks, that is real capitalism. And that's what digital assets are. That is free. That is financial freedom, true freedom. They said Bitcoin's national currency in Japan and that attracted people to Japan. It attracted entrepreneurs, businesses, money. They all decided they'd go here because they thought, well, Japan is thinking of the future and Japan is thinking of attracting me to their country. Other countries are not doing that. And I think they need to. I think they need to recognize that the world is now open. And as a government, you have to serve your people instead of the other way around. 
Um, he says, I'm bullish long term because I believe that no one will want to hold on to a currency that's tied to a government when there's a currency that's just as good, that's decentralized and not tied to a government. So most people will move to Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies. But the transition is what we're talking about. There's a certain amount of time that's required for it to be really easy for us to trade in Bitcoin rather than dollars. Because the, the only people who will take Bitcoin from you today are people who are maybe 35 years or younger because they say Bitcoin's going to be much more valuable. Or you're 35 years or older, those people are saying, no, we want dollars. We want RMB. We want the old way. And so we've got a new wave coming, a kind of, uh, a kind of gave it four years what, where they, they engineers would have time to build it up. And it would also allow for the information to proliferate the world. Um, and then he goes on to say, I invest in altcoins. They are tied to a lot of work. Someone who is really dedicated to them. Someone who has created new technology around them. Because if you're just an altcoin for the purpose of being an altcoin, you might as well be Bitcoin. Well, that describes XRP and Ripple more than anything. So I hope that you take that out of that. Bitcoin, I think you should own at least one because it will go up in value. But XRP is the one. Always has been. Next, I want to show you this. Something I, I saw. Massive XRP sentiment shill army are uncovered. This is a mega FUD piece. Um, and this is from, uh, I don't know who wrote this, but there, it's another article about thousands of fake bots and accounts pumping Ripple's XRP. Same old stuff. Uh, I wanted to show you a couple of things in here. The first thing he does is he infers that um, he uncovered 87 accounts created in 2019 that follow uh, Tiffany Hayden and have, have XRP in their usernames. Basically, he's saying all these accounts are fake that follow Tiffany Hayden. Well, one of them jumped out at me, and that's XRP Army. This guy is literally, I mean, so this is an article calling this guy a bot. This guy literally sends me news articles almost every day. And so I know for a fact this guy's a person. It's like a person that I interact with. And so this kind of stuff just makes you sick to see. And I also um, saw this right here. I, I, I remember seeing this tweet. I think I even featured this tweet. And he's called, I, I want to bring your attention to this. We'll zoom into one human-ish account that represents the latest advancement. So now we don't, now not only do we have bots, we have human-ish accounts, whatever that means. We have human-ish accounts that are trying to get people to join the XRP community. Um, and then he goes on to show, he, he's dissected this guy's um, screen name, says he's, it, not only is this human-ish, but it's really scary. If, if you look at his YouTube channel, he says this guy's created a YouTube channel that's really fake is the way out here's his youtube channel and he's got a cartoon figure so he, he said that means that this is really fake and i actually saw this guy xrp euphoria posted today on twitter and i put a comment in his section to tell to point him to this article i haven't gone and looked at it since then but anyway i pointed him in the direction of this article so he could go go check out the fact that he's fake or being called fake Got this from Mike Jansen. If you don't follow Mike Jansen, he's the, he's the Indianapolis Colts announcer. Um, and the NFL, as you know, is not in season right now. And so he has a production company. If you need some production work, go to mgjansen.com. He designed my intro on my channel. Great guy. Um, he sent me this. You need to go and watch this. It's blockchain and cryptocurrency. What to expect next? This is on the Milken Institute channel. Um, and I, I'm going to dissect this further and maybe do another video on it. Okay, moving on. This is from XRP 1000 Bones at Bones XRP Zoo at 1000 Bones XRP. And they, they, were, they sent me a, a message about how I needed to talk about BitTrue. Uh, Bit this is a new exchange. I had a... The way I read this, BitTrue is an exchange that can be used in the United States. And I didn't realize this. These guys have gone out of their way to um, talk to add XRP pairs and to be a friend of the XRP community. 
So I want you all to go check this out. It's, it's B-I-T-R-U-E dot com. It's a new exchange. I went down and read here. We are global from United States, Japan, Singapore, Singapore to Taiwan. We, we have offices across the globe. So, um, look, it shows right here, Canada, USA, Japan, Taiwan, and Singapore. If you're in any of those areas, you can go open an account. That's the way I read this. And these guys have a lot of XRP pairs. And finally, um, from the uh, crypto man, at crypto underscore man, Dallas designed for XRP James. And this here's XRP James again, that, that article just called a bot. Um, he's having a painting. This bot is having a painting design for him. <laughs> That's how funny that article is. Um, this is going to look epic above his fireplace with the colors, lights, and reflection. Do you need a city? Just get in touch. And um, here's his website. So go to his thread here or on his on his Twitter feed, and he's 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 he'll basically make you one of these for your city if you want. I'm the digital asset investor. I'm not an investment advisor. This is for entertainment purposes only. Please subscribe, hit the like button, and go see the crypto man and order your picture. And by the way, I don't get anything out of this. I just think that his 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 uh, photos are really cool. Thank you for listening.